Hey everyone and welcome to BMX News, a weekly live BMX news show that I do at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Friday. And we do it live, so there's some people in the chat right now, DFLJ, always checking in before he actually can even watch the video. He's at work right now. Shout out to him. Hope he feels better too. He says something about uh, getting hurt. Hopefully he gets better soon. Kevin Jackson, Jeff Mead, Tech 6 Hello, everyone, and welcome to BMX News, where the first thing we have to talk about this week is Jaden Mucha being announced to be riding for Fly Bikes. So I'll be honest, I totally forgot that Jaden hadn't had a bike sponsor for a while now. He left Kink quite a while now, from what I remember, and now it's announced he's riding for Fly. So you can hit up the link in the description and hit the website link right here to check out his welcome wow it was a week ago and bike check on fly's website next up we have the profile racing casey hallahan summer sunset colorway casey hallahan might be 10 or 11 and already has a signature colorway and one funny, awesome memory I have of Casey is when she was riding, I think, a 12-inch bike. I, I mean, the wheels were like this big. And they had profile elites on a bike like that. Casey has been doing it on profiles forever. So it's cool to see someone so young getting this kind of recognition. She's such a good person already i was at ray's one time and we were in paul's boutique and it was myself somebody i grew up riding with his kids and casey and she was just trying to help them and kind of like do you want to follow me and that kind of thing it was just cool casey's rad next dig this bike could be your life pre-order now so I hadn't heard of this until seeing this right here. It's an all new photo book from Dig focusing on 30 years of DIY BMX culture. So I don't know what that entails, but it's over 324 pages. Holy cow. So your favorite photos, artwork, words, and unseen materials from the Dig archives alongside reflections from Taj, Ryan, Wart. Worcester, Worcester, I don't know how you say that. Joe Rich, Mike O'Brien, Edwin De La Rosa, Adam McNaughton, Ruben Alcatera, Van Homan, Brian Foster, and lots more. So they'll be shipping in late 2023 with merch to follow. The link to this page is in the description as well. And then you can just scroll down to the pre order. And uh, let me know in the comments if you order this after hearing about it from here. I'd love to hear about this. Oh, this is Dig 100. That's kind of cool. Cool. Next up, another thing, kind of from Dig, but not quite Dig. It's Greystoke BMX Magazine Issue 1 that is out now. It's from Dig for BMX Lifers, edited by Scott Town. We did a whole podcast about it 
but you can actually get it. So in issue one, Dennis McCoy, Life and Times of the KC Rogue, Mel Stoutzenberger, photographs of the future from the past, survivors never give up, never give in, never going to run around and desert you. Save Your Generation, Evolution of the BMX Bite. Dog Bites, the Mag Dog Rides Again. Holy Grail, Origins of the Most Infamous Bike in Freestyle. The POW House, when a house is less than a home. <laughs> James Hudson Archives, The Rise of the UK, UK BMX Mid-School. Dave Osado's Schwinn, Channeling the Beast Within. Still freestyling under the influence of Wizard Public publications so that's out now you can get your hands on it right now check it out next up the s-a-b-s-a-s -S 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 international bmx mixtape honestly did not know what that meant at first and then i read a little bit into it it's the share a bike share a smile uh, i'm not sure i don't want to call it a charity if they don't want to be called a charity but Share bike, share a smile. Oh, it's a nonprofit. There you go. They've been giving bikes to people who need them, and I'll just read this description here. To date, Share Bike, Share a Smile has sent 32 packages of BMX parts to support riders in 21 countries, most of them in Africa. This video is a reflection of how United BMX can be 40 riders in 21 countries, at least one for each continent on Earth. Does that count? Antarctica? Men and women that were involved with us in different levels, donating parts, receiving them, or helping us in other ways. Thanks to everyone who supports Share Bike, Share Smile. You're making the difference. We got real gold sask. That's the name right there. So this is a mixtape with, let's just say, riders from every single continent. 44 riders from 21 countries. How amazing is that? And there's some bigger name riders in here as well. I saw Gasper Gwendolyn's name in here. I saw Courage Adams right there. I think Emma Silva was one. Not positive. Don't want to be wrong on that. But check this out. It's really cool. And that brings us into all of the videos from this week. Literally just pre-ordered the dig book because of your channel. Awesome. There's a video from Lux BMX with Mitch Campbell called Time Flies. This one has a really cool vibe with the song, the filming, and just the art behind the video itself. And then the writing as well. I enjoyed it. Then Santiago Laverde from Kink BMX in a video called Resident. So this is at home in Barcelona, Spain. I don't know what to say about the song in this video, and you'll just have to watch it to understand, but the riding is really good. Barcelona street riding. Then highlights from the Backyard Jam at Unit 23, the Cash for Tricks Bowl Jam, followed by the highlights from the Street Spine Best Trick Contest at Colony's Hard Yards 1, so this is Clint Miller's backyard ramp in a contest backyard invitational that they held a few weeks ago. And this by far, hands down, if you could not guess, would be my favorite video of the week. Street spine, best trick. There's so much crazy stuff in here. And I've got to give a shout out to, is it the guy in the second clip? No, third clip. Clint Miller too. Shout out to Clint Miller for even making all that possible. Sean Gardner, watch this trick. Crank flip to 360 downside foot jam whip on a street spine. Crazy. And so much other wild stuff in here. And the last clip is Pat Falco doing a 540 tail whip over the spine. And it was a bad. Definitely watch this one if you're into tech or street spine riding whatsoever, because it's not all tech. There's a lot of jumping stuff in here as well. Then we've got a video from a live industry called Forever Two Wheels. It's the FTW frame. I'm assuming that's Forever Two Wheels. It's a promotion of that frame with all of these riders over in Japan. Next up 
it's Hoder Week on the SM Bikes YouTube channel. So there's a lot of Hoder stuff this week. And first is Hoder in Cali. And this wall ride is 10 times crazier when you watch the video than just when you see the thumbnail on this because it is a steep bank and you just have to watch it. It's insane. Hoder is amazing. This whole video is burly and technical at the same time and so good. Were you at the Speedway Motor Stunt Show in Lincoln, Nebraska? No, I was not, unfortunately. But I know what you're talking about, the, the Nowhere BMX Stunt Show. Then we've got the raw version of Simone Baracco's Kisses video from Shadow and Sabrosa. Just under four minutes raw cut of that. Then a video from Profile, Weather It Ain't. So this is some footage from before they went on the call sign Carolina trip that I talked about last week. So there's that. We've got Dylan Leeper, Shane Leeper, Craig Welch, Dre Tilly, and Dan Del Delorso riding there from North Richmond to South Richmond and back. And then after that, we have snapshots from the call sign Carolina trip that I talked about last week. So this is a bunch of pictures on here, photos by Dan Delorso. Del My goodness, I cannot speak. So you can read about it and check out 13 photos linked directly under the Weather It Ain't video. Then we've got Utopia BMX Trails Meditation. That is exactly what it is. The music and the filming and the way it's all put together definitely feels like meditation. And for anyone who wants to see a trails video, this is what you're going to want to check out for that trails meditation. Then we've got another Mike Hoder video. This time it's his built different section from the full length SM video. So you can watch that one too. It's Mike Hoder. I don't even need to say anything else. It's Hoder. Then another absolutely insane video Corey Walsh Dysphoria from Cult. This video is nine minutes long. Who put it together? Who did it? Doesn't say here. Who put it together, but Corey Walsh is just absolutely incredible. The way this dude rides a bike, amazing. And just look at the thumbnail. This gap to impossible without the kicker curve wall ride that you know that kicker is big already. And where's he going out of it? There's a beam here. Who knows? Madness. Corey Walsh is insane. Then another Hoder video. This time it's another Hoder cam. This is the Pacific Northwest Hoder Cam. And if you wanted something longer, none of those were long enough for you. That is 18 minutes, 20 seconds of Mike Hoder. Hell yeah. Then we get into some interview type stuff from this week. We get a bike check with Felix Prangenberg. A quick fire parts rundown. So some pictures of the bike as well as a list of parts that are on it. And you can check that out if you want to see what Felix is riding. Then we had last week's Factory Friday. Are you ready to ramble? A little bit of a look at the Rambler frames that are coming soon. This is the Nathan and Lucas Hallahan signature frame series and the information about them, as well as a look at how BMX frames are actually checked for perfection in the building with s &Ms and fits usa made frames they have a fixture that allows them to just check that everything is within spec and perfectly straight on a frame it's pretty cool then we've got inside battle of hastings part two from austin augie what's up james ovens looks like youtube is letting everyone know that i was live late today that's okay though. So check this out if you want to see the behind the scenes of Battle of Hastings. There's also a photo gallery. Did not realize that. So I'll make sure I link that photo gallery directly below the inside Battle of Hastings. Photo gallery. Boom. So that'll be linked below that. And then the last thing from this week is Terry Adams, 20 years on Red Bull. I watched this entire video 
This video is awesome. What's up, Zanky? Yeah, YouTube is definitely letting everybody know way too late. That's okay, though. 20 years on Red Bull. Terry Adams is just it's 14 minutes of the journey to get there, where he's at now, what led him to his current like mindset and drive that he has for BMX and everything in between. And it's a really awesome video. Yo, that's Exhibit. Huh, that's pretty cool. But with that being said, that is the last thing we have to talk about this week in BMX news. And I would say if you're going to watch videos this week, I'm going to bring over my notes here. Watch, watch the, uh, watch the, what was it? Street Spine Best Trick. Watch the Utopia. Watch Hoder in Cali. Watch Terry Adams, 20 years on Red Bull, and a street video, because that's everything else. Oh, wait, Hoder and Cali Street. So we got trails, street, park, flatland, and an interview type video. And after watching the Hoder stuff from SM, if you want to get anything from SM or Fit, you can use the code BRANT in all caps to save 10% on anything from SM or Fit from a complete bike from Fit to a frame from SM or anything else. And it helps me out at the same time. With that being said, thank you for tuning in. And we will see you guys tomorrow for another video. And I'm hoping to get the Cornhucket highlights edit done for Monday. I'm 700 clips through the 1,000 clips I have to go through. So I'm thinking I'll be able to do it. But I'm going to go and work on some stuff like that right now. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And we will see you tomorrow.